Hello, younglings. Welcome back. I would like to teach you some magic today. Are you ready to learn? Yeah. So we are going to learn some tricks with cards, card magic. Now, as you may know, and I uh, spoke recently about, everything in the universe has vibrations. Yay. Well, I am particularly in tune with the vibrations of these cards. Now, youngling, have I shuffled this deck for you? Yes. Do you believe that I know exactly which cards are where in this deck? No. No. Would you like to cut the deck to make sure I don't know where things are in the deck? Excellent. Now, what we're going to do today is going to rely on the cards telling me their numbers. The numbers are particularly important. Ooh. We are going to make piles that count to 13. 13 is a very magical card number. <laughs> so we're going to lay down a pile. This one starts with a card that is a seven. And we're going to lay down till 13. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. We'll make another pile. Nine, 10, 10 11, 11, 12, 12 13. 13. Ace. Now, ace it's is one. considered a one. Goes ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack is 11, queen is 12, and king is 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. A 10, 11, 12, 13. Jack, which is an 11, 11 12, 13. Nine, 10, 10 11, 12, 13. 13. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I only have a few cards left. Let's see if I can get to 13 with them. Five, no, I can't. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could only get to nine. So these are going to be in my discard pile. Now, what I want you to do is choose three of these piles, whichever three you like, and turn them over. Okay. Okay, I won't look. So I don't know which they are. Tell me when you've done that. I'm trying. Are three piles turned over? Yes. Give me the piles that are not turned over. Okay. Is that all of them? Yes. I'm gonna do. All right, so we have three piles here that counted to 13 that you have turned over. Okay. Is there any way that I know which pile is which? Yeah. How? You could have looked where they are, I haven't moved them. Oh, move them around. <laughs> have you moved them? <laughs> moving them. Okay. Now, could I tell which pile is which? No. All right. So let me feel the vibrations of each of these piles. It must be hard with the noise in the background. It is hard with the noise in the background because noise is vibration. <laughs> now, let me feel the vibration of my cards here. Oh, wow. This is my discard pile. I'm moving these up. Hmm. I don't need those. But these cards, please stop. These cards have the same vibration as these cards. Let's see. An ace, which is a? One. A jack, which is a? Eleven. And a? 
seven. Which is a seven. Which is a seven. What is seven plus 11 plus one? 11 plus one is 12. 12 plus seven is 19. Excellent. This is 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Magic. Magic. Now, would you like to know how to do this and how to befuddle muggles with this trick? Yeah. Excellent. So the first thing you need to make this work is a deck of 52 cards which is exactly an ordinary, absolutely typical deck of cards. When you get your deck of cards, you wanna take any of the jokers out so that the only cards you have are, are the, the numbers, numbers and the jack, and, king, queen, and ace. Exactly, numbers and jack, king, queen, and ace. Then you can mix it up as much as you'd like until the deck is nice and random. Now, one of the things when you're doing card tricks, card magic, is that the person that you're doing the magic with usually thinks, oh, this person has memorized the deck of cards or knows which card's on top or whatever. Letting them shuffle it or letting them cut the deck makes it so that you can't know what card is what. The keys to this are the piles of 13 and the number 10. So let's start doing the piles of 13. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Queen, which is a 12, 12 13, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, king, which is a 13, 13, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I don't know that we're going to get there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you wind up having no discard pile, that's fine. But if it's less than 13, you take it off and put it in the discard pile. They're on needed. Right. So now this time we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piles. Yep. And each one is of a different number. And I want the person I'm playing with, who's doing the trick, to identify three piles, whichever ones they want. Now, you don't need to see what piles they are. So you can turn away and look away so that they can't, um, they don't think there's any way you know which piles it is. So you want to turn three piles over and all the other piles you wanna put into the discard pile. I won't look. I see nothing, but yet I know all. Just a sec. All right. Then you want to move them around. And you can move the piles around so that you don't know where they are, but you want it's to totally leave it so that the top card is always the top card and you can't mix the piles up. Yep. All right, so now we have three piles and a discard pile. Now, here's the part that you need to know how to do. Hmm. When you're looking at the cards, you wanna count out 10 cards. Now you can do this by doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and s count them out. Or in your mind, you can do a set of three, a set of three, a set of three, and a one. So that's three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, and one more is ten. Or you can just do, hmm,
oh, the cards tell me that this is the number I need. But I've counted out the top 10 cards. If you're very fancy at this, you can put your pinky finger, you can count, I've got three, six, nine, 10, and then mark it with a finger. So it looks like they're all together, but in reality, I've divided them up. So when I put them back together, mm -hmm. I take the top 20. 10 off to the side. Out the bottom one with, on, above your finger with a 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 10, it doesn't matter. Now, if you turn the top cards of the piles over and add them up, four plus three plus six is 13. The number of cards in your hand is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is called a self-working card trick because you don't have to do any sleight of hand, you don't have to do any magic to make it work. The cards and the way you're using the numbers do it all by itself. Let's do it one more time so you can see. I'll tell you through all the steps so that you can go and get a deck of cards yourself and befuddle all of the muggles in your life. All right, so well, that, first. I'm gonna steal a deck of cards from the cat. You're gonna steal a deck of cards from the cat? Yep. Okay. So I can do it while you do it. Okay. So first, look to make sure that your deck of cards is all shuffled up. Do you want me to hold the camera? Yes. So my cards are all shuffled. But mine are not. All right, shuffle your cards. Okay, it's shuffling. Shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Now, you're going to take the cards and turn them over. You have a king. Thirteen. What's that? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, let's make a second pile. Three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Make another pile. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ace. What, what number is eight? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. King, king, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, not enough to make thirteen, so that's the pile. All right, so you're gonna look away, and I'm gonna flip over three of the piles and mix them up and turn, take away the other piles and put them in the discard. So we have one pile two piles, three piles. All right, are you ready? Yes. Turn around. There's your discard pile and here are your three piles. Now, what are you gonna do? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So you're gonna try to do that in your head so that nobody knows you're counting 10 and you're gonna make it look smooth, like you're just looking at all the cards. And you're gonna take some and put them aside. Flip over your three cards. You have a six and an ace and a three. Add them up. That is 10. So count out your cards. Two. Put them down as you do. One, One two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are a magician. <laughs> 
So when you do this and befuddle your muggles, you want to tell the story of how you've learned magic at Hogwarts and how you can do magic and you can see the vibrations of the universe and you can read the vibrations of the cards. You're going to want to make sure that you talk about it and make it just as magical as possible because when you're fooling a muggle, the, the way in which you present the story will make them believe your magic even more. So make sure you talk about the vibrations of the universe and don't tell them that it's all mathematics. Don't tell them that it's all about the cards and you're remembering to lay out the piles of 13, the discard pile, have three piles turned over, and then count the top 10 off and what's left is the same as the addition of those three numbers. All right, one more time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope, we're not going to make it. Discard pile. Turn three over and make sure that they believe that you don't know what they are. Take the others, put them to, to the ten. side, smoothly count to ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what's left is the same. So we have four, six, and three, so. 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go out, younglings, and befuddle your muggles.